Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with today's GFG Purity District. Uh, for a few days I was not able to make it here, so I was like a little busy in the office work and I have to plan relocation and several things are there, so uh, let's just complete the today's question. So it is the K closest element and uh, uh, we have been given a sorted array of unique elements, so once we are given a sorted array definitely a uh, technique should come in our mind that is a binary search technique, right? Let's read the question further. So an array of n integers and a value x. So we need to find the k closest element uh, to x in the array. The following points are if x is present in the array, then it need not to be considered. Okay. If two elements have the same differences as x, then the greater element should be considered. If sufficient elements are not present on the right hand side, take the elements on the left and vice versa. Okay. Okay. So let us first understand the input and output. Let us take the example two, which is of the lesser elements. So we have the test case as zero, uh, one, two, three. 6 and 10 let us name the indexes as 0 1 2 3 and 4 we need to get the abs the abs differences from x so k is equals to 3 and we need three three elements such three elements and x is equals to 4 so what is the difference of 4 minus 1 that is 3 4 minus 2 that is 2 again 4 minus 3 is 1 4 minus 6 uh, we will take the abs value so that comes as 2 and 10 minus 4 that is 6 right so I can clearly see that this is the smallest difference so this particular element would be a uh, answer and then the smallest element is 2 and 2 so once uh, that is there that is there <coughs> so another so there's this f first the 3 is the closest number closest uh, number with the given k and with the given x the given x so there's the first element we need two more elements because k is equals to 3 now I can clearly see that the 2 and 2 is repeating so we'll take the first greater element the greater is 6 then I will take the lo lower number with so 360 will be our answer right so how we can solve this question is that uh, uh, using the binary search again so first we will get to the closest number get to the closest number uh, get to the closest number of uh, what x in array of i right and here we will use the binary search algorithm to do so so how we can do that is so let us again dry run the same test case that is 3 uh, it was 1 2 3 uh, 6 and 10 and k is equals to 3 and x is equals to 4 so what is the closest number that is uh, uh, the closest number to x in the array of i it is nothing but 3 right so i will appoint a, let's say a left pointer and at a right pointer to just the l plus 1 and i will take the differences now because since i am the closest element to this l so i will take the difference here from both l and r and we will decide uh, using the differences which is lesser coming from both L and R and then we'll decide on moving in which direction we'll move towards the left hand side or towards the R side that is on the right or that is on the left right so if I calculate the difference what is the difference 4 minus 3 is 1 if you take the L side and if you take the R side what is it 6 minus 4 is equals to 2 so what is the uh, what is, which is the minimum one this is the minimum right so first answer is 3 first answer is 3 and since we have taken the answer from the left hand side so I will again decrement by pointer to its left and again my values will be changed as the comparison so my left value will be now my left value will be now changed to that is 4 minus 2 which is nothing but 2 and I can clearly see that the both the values are coming same that is from the life uh, from the left and the right but uh, the question the second parameter or let's say the second condition was to take the greater element if the differences are same so we will take the right elements we will consider 6 and we will move in the right hand side direction that is 10 now again we will com we'll compare it so for the left side again 4 minus 2 would put 2 would be there but for the right side it would be 10 minus uh, it would be 10 minus 4 that is 6 so which is, is the which is the minimum one again so this is the minimum so I will take the corresponding element that is 2 and I will again move my left so since we have completed or we have gathered all the three elements that is the top k elements which is closest to x so we will just end our iteration here right so some of the base cases would be there let us discuss that as well some of the base cases would be like so let us take uh, with this same example let us uh, do some dry run uh, so we will take the elements as 3 uh, 3 4 5 3, 4, 5, 6 and 10 right and here I am again taking k as 3 and x here as would be will be taking as 2 okay okay so again the binary search will happen so binary search will happen like this so low would be pointing to the 0th index and the high would be pointing at the last index that is the n minus 1 we will again calculate the mid and so on and so forth we will do it right 
so for x equals to 2 I can say so before happening the binary search will have we have to add a base case that if my array of low right if my array of low is greater than x because x here was 2 so then and there this this will be my closest uh, low this was my closest closest element to x that is return low so this would be my index this would be my index and I will point name this as let's say L and just adjacent to it in the right hand direction as R right so again we will see uh, we'll calculate with respect to L and with respect to R so it would be 3 minus 2 and with respect to R it would be 4 minus 2 right so 3 minus 2 is nothing but 1 and 4 minus 2 is nothing but 2 so taking the minimum differences that is a this one and corresponding to this uh, difference the element which you have taken is 3 that is the 3 would be my answer and I will move my left pointer to its left that is L minus minus but you can clearly see now that we have went out of the bound out of the bound for this thing there are no elements within the left hand side so that's the reason if we can if we see the third point here if you see the third point here if sufficient elements are not present on the right hand side here uh, then take the elements on the left and vice versa so for in our case we do not have sufficient elements in the left hand side so we will take the elements from the right hand side that is we will directly consider 4 and 5 so this will be handled using explicitly a while loop right okay so there would be another base case where uh, let us uh, let's write another base case so let us take the same case 3 4 5 6 and 10 but let's just change the value that is k equals to 3 and x equals to 12 so this would be my low this would be my high right and now I can clearly see that if that if array of high is lesser than my target that is the x if it is something like that then I can clearly see that this would this high index would be my the closest element to my x right so again let us do the dry run so this would be my L right and this would be my R because R is always we are pointing as L plus 1 now you can clearly see that there are no elements present in the right hand side direction so considering the third uh, condition we will just take the first or let's say the three elements that is 10 6 and 5 from the left and that would be it yeah that would be it so let us now write the code I've already written it so let's just erase it and write it once again so that we can see a good code walkthrough so first we'll have a find closest function so let me write that so we'll have an int find closest we'll have int array and uh, we'll have int n uh, low int uh, high and the parameter as int x because we need to find the closest to the x element so the binary search will work while low is less than equals to high right and what else we, we will have so the base cases were two base cases were there that if array of low is less than equals to or the array of high it was array of high if it is less than equals to x then what were we doing we were returning the high and there was another case if array of low is greater than x then we are returning the low index right else in other case we will just uh, find our mid that is nothing but uh, low plus high minus you can also write low plus high by 2 but we write uh, I usually write it like this because in some other cases where the integer value is very large we may get an overflow for finding this mid pointer like this now else case with the if mid so what would be the conditions where I will get to closest to x right so let us take one example again okay so again that's a very a standard binary search that we'll be doing so let us say that we need to find or let's say the element closest to one so so this would be high this would be uh, this would be low and this would be high again the mid would be pointing to second index and array of mid would be nothing but three and my target is one now my target itself is lesser than my array of mid right so definitely if I am looking for a lesser element I will look in the left hand side because that's the array is in sorted order so I'll completely ignore the right hand side and I'll try to look in the left hand side so if target is less than array of mid high is nothing but mid minus one and in the else case the low would be positioned as mid plus one right I hope that makes sense to you okay so that that's that's what we're gonna write it here so if array of mid is so we decided that when are we moving uh, forward in the left hand side or in the right hand side 
okay so let us complete that wire and try to pseudo code it uh, by ourselves so this would be the range where we would search the, we will do our binary search low and high and again this would be our mid pointer if we'll do low plus high by two so this would be our mid right so what is the condition we need to check that if my array of mid first of all it should be lesser than my equals to target and just the right element should be greater than my uh, my target then only I can say that I have found the closest element so array of mid plus one is greater than x if that's the condition we will say return mid right so let's just code this thing so let's just now code the entire binary search we have seen all the cases so if array of mid is less than equals to x and an array of mid plus one if it is greater than x then we'll say return mid right and in rest of the cases uh, we'll have an if condition once more and if array of mid is lesser than uh, if it is greater than the target right then definitely we need to search it in the so if array of mid is greater than the target we need to search it in the uh, left hand side that is high equals to mid minus one so that's what we're gonna write it here high is equals to mid minus one and in the else case we will just write low is equals to mid plus one right and since the return type is int, so we will just do one more uh, and I will say return minus one just to comply with the return type. Yep, so that would be for the for our first print uh, find closest. Now let's just call the find closest uh, function in the main function. So let's just make an int answer of size k, new int k and let us make an m pointer as well which we will use to fill it in the answer array. Now let us again call the int l is equals to find closest and we will pass the parameters that array and low is nothing but 0 n minus 1 and comma k right so we will have int r is equals to l plus 1 the r pointer as the next adjacent to the l and we will check uh, the first condition was also there that if your array of the low index which we have written if it is equals equals to x right so in that case you do not have to consider that as well so you can see if x is present in the array it then it uh, need not to be considered right so if that is the case we'll just do an l minus minus right now rest things are easier so what we need again to fill our answer array and we will uh, do this we'll run this algorithm once we have found the l we'll get the r and we'll do from the expansion from the middle right will move towards each other direction depending upon the condition that which pointer gives me l or r gives me the minimum difference so i will just say if l is greater than equals to 0 and and r should be less than n and and k should be m should be less than k right jab tak ki hamara pointers inbound hai and jab tak ki hamara answer array fill nahi ho gaya ho tab tak hum is while loop ko run karte rahenge so I'll just check the differences now. So if x minus array of L, right, and and array of R minus x. So if it is, uh, we'll check which one is lesser. So if the right hand side or the left hand side value is lower, then definitely we'll add in the answer with the left index. So answer of m plus plus is equal to nothing but array of L and uh, l minus minus or else in the else case we'll have the same thing but for uh, but with the r index so i'll just write it down as well so array of m plus plus is nothing but array of r and r plus plus right so that's the case that's the case but we we discussed two base cases as well that once we do not have element in the right hand side and then we'll take the left hand side elements and vice versa so we will handle that case explicitly with one while loop so let us assume so our array is not filled and we have elements left in the right hand side right so we'll capture that as well so we'll just copy paste this line here array of m plus plus equals to array of l and l minus minus similarly we will check for that we do not have any elements in the left hand side but still my answer array need to be filled that is m is less than k and r is less than n so in that case we'll copy this line Yes, so that would be it. And the last, we'll just say return answer. So that would be it here. 
and let us compile and run while it has been compiling and running so what would be the time and space that we are calling the binary cell so that will definitely take o of log n so we are getting an expected output as wrong so what's the mistake i have done here is that we have passed k and that is we are finding the closest element to k instead we have to find the closest to x right yep so let's compile and run again yep so this time our expected output and your output matches matches so let us submit uh, let us click on the submit button to submit the code so meanwhile what is the time and space so definitely we are finding the find uh, you are running the find closest so o of log n here right because you are running a binary search and then this while loop is actually filling k elements right so this would take o of k so we can say that our overall time complexity is nothing but o of log n plus k as written in the expected one and auxiliary space as o of k because we have made a answer array of size k right now this question can be solved with two other approaches as well so one is the brute force one one will be a brute force approach that will take o of n square uh, b feel free to refer to the editorial section you will get this technique as well another one is the priority queue right priority queue would be also be there but since the question says the sorted array so definitely aapko the most optimized technique would be the binary search now uh, once you have submitted the code feel free to uh, roam around the editorial and see the brute force and the priority queue as well right so let us meet again in the next video till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care guys so okay let us meet again bye bye